Well, first of all, thank you guys for having me today. It's uh, always nice to come back to the geography building. It still smells the same. <laughs> I was born in Colorado. Uh, I moved up here to come to UBC. Uh, UBC had some interesting programs, including geography, which was uh, what I was really interested in. I came up, played rugby for the university for a couple of years, and then uh, got fully into the geography program. Uh, I did a uh, double uh, major minor uh, in geography and visual arts, and I did the co-op uh, program starting in my third year. Uh, which got me two different placements. Um, they were both eight months long. The first was at ResCan Environmental Services. It's a, a consulting company in downtown Vancouver that does consulting work for a number of different uh, big projects, transportation, uh, extractives around the world, but uh, primarily here in Canada. And um, I was working on their socio-environment, um, socio-economic team, and I was doing uh, like impact assessments for uh, large-scale natural resource projects around the world. So that's where I first got sort of interested in mining. Um, and I also got interested in um, some of the things that my manager was doing at that job. And it just so happened that during that placement, my manager got headhunted by another company, Tech Resources, and I kept in touch with her, and that landed me my second placement. So um, I've kept the same manager for about three and a half years now but have changed uh, jobs from one company to another. So I came back to UBC, did uh, another semester of classes, and then I returned for my second placement, which was at Tech Resources. Uh, it was a really interesting time. Uh, I'll get into who Tech Resources is in a minute, but it was a really interesting time in 2008 when I got my job because the company had just laid off 1,500 people. They had uh, Their stock prices plummeted from $60 to $3 in a matter of weeks. They were really going through uh, some tough times, but they had a ton of work still, and so they were able to give a lot of work to a cheap laborer like myself, and uh, that's where I got my start. Uh, I guess it's also interesting to note I did a, a study abroad program. I did a semester at sea, which is through the University of Virginia in the States, uh, and I went around the world on a boat over a semester. So that got me some really interesting uh, global experiences uh, that, um, I definitely can apply it in my job today. Um, and my memorable courses at UBC. But I did do quite a bit of focusing on uh, GIS and cartography. And I did both the uh, entry and advanced cartography and GIS courses. I used that uh, experience way more in my previous job at ResCan than I do currently at Tech. But I think they're uh, fantastic uh, skills that you develop in those courses. Um, with that, I, I tried to pull together some words of wisdom for you guys. Um, some few things that I, I learned throughout the last couple of years at, at my job or in my final couple of years at UBC. Um, I would say one of the hottest areas to get into right now is understanding the regulations for social and environmental considerations on projects. Uh, no matter what you're doing, in whether it's uh, planning and infrastructure, like you want to put a new road somewhere or, or a highway up to Whistler, it's going to trigger a social and environmental impact assessment. And if you are familiar with those uh, processes and the regulations, you could be an extreme value to companies, to the government, and this is a really hot area for, for jobs right now, is uh, in the regulatory area of the government. Uh, I started a consulting company. The, my colleague at work worked at a consulting company for a number of years. We spend thousands of dollars every year on consultants to do work for our company because it, it's often the best way to do it. They're the experts in something. It is the number one way to get uh, experience is through a consulting company. Um, they often have lots of uh, turnover. People are often going in, getting great experience and getting picked up by, by companies. And uh, you get tons of experience all around the world. You get flown to the craziest places to do really interesting studies to help uh, manage impacts or do assessments on big projects. Um, I know the, the one company I worked for, ResCan, they have recently been bought by uh, another very large company in the world called ERM. 
and they're now going to be the, the like, arguably the biggest uh, environmental consulting company in Canada, headquartered here in Vancouver. And they're going to have tons of job openings in this next year, I'm sure, with their big merger. And uh, if you guys are graduating, it's a perfect time to get into that. I think um, Eli Hanman, he would, used to be a geography student uh, president or something, he uh, works for ResCan now doing hydrology and, and water work with them. So there's lots of opportunities, but it's a, a good place to look. I think uh, it's important to really focus on some of the skills that you probably already have, but just don't underestimate them. Uh, your ability to use a computer. There are a lot of old people working these days that are horrible at using computers. And it, it's impressive when you can say, I can do that in five minutes, and it's taken a whole day. So being able to use a computer is really, really important. If you speak another language, uh, our world is only becoming more connected. and. Um, I'm trying to learn Spanish and improve my Spanish. I have conversations daily with people at our, our Chilean sites, but if I could speak Spanish fluently, I'd be way more valuable to my company. So that's my goal for 2013. But uh, speaking other languages is really good. And reading and writing skills, um, that sounds really petty and silly, but it, it is the last thing that an employer wants to pay to develop on, on you. Like they expect that you can read and write, and your ability to like write well, concisely, quickly uh, is really good. It's probably the biggest thing I've learned since moving into a, a job is not my bombastic academic writing um, that would span multiple pages, but really clear, quick points. That's uh, probably one of the best things I've learned. Uh, get yourself out there, network, use LinkedIn, uh, go to interest groups and find out about what's going on in the world related to things that you're interested in. Uh, a really Good one that I recommend people to look into is Connecting Environmental Professionals, uh, CEP. They have a listserv, they have a number of jobs that they send out every, uh, every week, cool events going on all over Vancouver, check them out. And I guess uh, patience, perseverance, and potential. I, I think you have to be patient, like you're not going to get your, your dream job at the first job. You have to persevere and keep applying, it's a numbers game, the more jobs you apply to, the more chances you'll have. And don't underestimate your potential. There's always something out there. It, it's crazy to think that uh, if you're really interested in social media, you can get a job Facebooking. That's, there's all sorts of potential out there. So finding your, your niche is really in, important. So I think with that, I, I've sort of exhausted my time.